Hey guys, I just wanted to go over a really quick problem I was having with my plasma cutter and show you how to possibly fix it if it happens to you. This is an Everlast inverter. It's a 50 amp. It's about 7 years old. Um, it's 220 only. It's not one of those dual voltage inverters. And so here's the problem I was having. I would turn the machine on. I would pull my trigger to make a cut and the arc would light up, but then as soon as I got up to the workpiece, the arc would go out and the air would just keep flowing and flowing and flowing. And I thought maybe the trigger was stuck or something, so I took the trigger assembly apart. That wasn't it. Um, obviously cycled the machine on and off, blew it out with air. Checked all my fittings, looked for burnt up stuff. I'm not an electrical person by any means. I don't really know what most of this stuff is, but... I did find on the internet something about an air controlled solenoid valve or a solenoid valve that controls air something like that and basically this is it right here okay so you have your your air inlet here and it goes up into the regulator which you can set here and then it comes out of that regulator and it goes back into this solenoid valve and then out into the machine. Okay? Out into the cutter, I should say. Sorry. So anyways, what I found out was in here there's like a spring-loaded plunger mechanism and that spring can get weak and hence it keeps the the airflow open because it's not strong enough to shut off. So, oh, move that hose. I got a little leak. Oh well, I won't be moving it. Anyway, what you do is, from the bottom of the machine, these two screws, and your machine might be different, but those two screws come off and you can kind of move this thing out of the way. And then you can take these, these four screws off of this part, this bigger one. There's two chambers. This one has screws, this one doesn't. Um, you take the four screws off and there's like a little bullet looking plunger deal with like a rubber side and a spring inside of it, like a poppet spring. And all I did was pull on that spring and lengthen it by maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Like just, it's just this tiny little spring, maybe three quarters of an inch long, maybe an inch, no more than eighth inch overall diameter. Don't lose any of this stuff if you take it apart. But you pull that spring out, you stretch it a little bit, you put it all back together exactly the same, and uh, and everything is good and check that air leak again Oop. well good thing that hose stay Ooh. might have to get a new I did pull that out to get this out of the way so if you if you mess with your fittings just be real careful once you get it but anyway I wanted to show you so we're fired up I'm set to uh, 32 and this shows that I have air and the power's on. This is my, my post flow. And I'm at about 70 PSI. So here's just a little. So she's working and before what would happen is I would pull this and I would let go and that air would just keep going and going and going and no matter how many times I pulled this it wouldn't relight okay hope that helps